In the quiet town of Wange, a chilling crime unfolded that would shake the community to its core. Reginald Mbuso Siketa, a 27-year-old man, was embroiled in a deadly altercation that stemmed from a seemingly trivial matter, missing chickens. The fateful day was the 18th of March, 2017. Reginald's stepmother, Miss Bonisi Wempofo, confronted him about some chickens that had vanished since she was a chicken farmer. Reginald, who had just returned from their rural home in Gueru, did not respond to the accusations, but left the scene in a haste. His stepmother did not know that tension was simmering as the hours passed. As the sun began to set, Reginald returned home at around 5 p.m., but this time he was armed with a homemade knife. He found his stepmother mopping the floor in the sitting room, unaware of the impending doom. In a sudden and violent act, Reginald stabbed her once on the left side of her back below the shoulder. Her screams echoed through the house as she called out his name in a desperate plea for mercy, but she went unheard. Reginald's 17-year-old brother, Regis, rushed into the room upon hearing the commotion, only to witness the harrowing sight of his mother bleeding on the floor. In an attempt to intervene, Regis pushed Reginald away, but this act of bravery was met with fury. Reginald turned the knife on his stepbrother, stabbing him in the lower abdomen and leaving him with a deep wound. After stabbing his stepbrother, he fled leaving behind a scene of carnage. Regis, despite his injury, managed to call for help. He and Mr. Tembinko Sekumalo hurriedly transported Miss Mpofu to Wange Colliery Hospital, but it was too late. She had succumbed to her injuries. Reginald Siketa was later apprehended and stood trial for his heinous actions. He offered a lesser plea of capable homicide and blamed alcohol for his lack of judgment. His biological father, Mr. Ronald Siketa, testified in court and he said that his son was abusing drugs and had been fired multiple times as a temporary teacher and had been an accomplice in the theft of the chickens according to one of the suspects. The court saw through his defenses and Justice Noctula Moyo convicted him of murder with actual intent, citing the premeditation evident in his actions and the excessive force used to deliver the fatal blow. Reginald was sentenced to an effective 30 years in prison without the possibility of parole. This tragic tale is a stark reminder of how quickly life can be derailed by violence and how the repercussions of such acts ripple through families and communities, leaving behind a legacy of pain and loss. May her soul continue to rest in peace.